The 2014 Super Rugby Trophy will be decided in an all New Zealand final. That is the Chiefs defeating the Waratahs last week. We'll face up against the Crusaders who did the job against the Sharks at home here at AMI Stadium to find themselves in the grand final. Hello everyone and welcome along to Complex Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 where you'll find only the greatest in Super Rugby for 2014. We have the grand final today, the big one. The one that will decide the trophy winners, the holders. And it was up against two of the great Super Rugby sides, the Crusaders, winners of multiple trophies in this competition and one of the iconic teams and one of the hardest teams to beat on their day. They took out the Sharks traveling here in their semi-final. They've made it to get another final. These guys just about feature in every final going in the years gone by. They are in another one. And when you look at their team here, you can kind of understand why. Top qualifiers out of New Zealand. And of course, a bye week when the playoffs were on. And now they find themselves here full of All Blacks, full of talent, and full of confidence heading into this final. The Chiefs have had a pretty strong season, but things got a bit tough last week for them, and they had to really battle hard to try and take out the Waratahs. They got the job done in the end, winning by seven points, 17 to 10. And the team, well, the coaches have kept the faith, they've kept the confidence with just one change, and that is Latimer coming in on the blind side. He will replace Squire with Messam moving to a number eight. So only strengthening the team. Squire did struggle a bit last week. He had a few knock-ons, a few mistakes, a couple of missed tackles, and it's cost him his spot in the team. But there's really no Chiefs player that had a huge out-and-out -out great match. Tukatuma, probably the best player that match, and he will remain on the right wing. Star studded Chiefs side looking for trophy number three in a row. Can they do it? Or will the Crusaders carry on their legacy of title victories? It will be Daniel Carter who will kick off with the number 12 jumper on his back. Controversial decisions as always, but that's how it is. And we are underway. Super Rugby Final for 2014. And Charlie Nartai takes down the first ball. And Cruden launches an attack straight away and then the Dolo intercepts and he'll score, no he won't it'll be Todd Todd will get the only try the Crusaders hit the front after just a couple of minutes Matt Todd opening things up the Chiefs looked like they were going to do the same down the other end Cruden just throws away oh what an opportunity that was Marshall made the tackle on Ndolo, but then coming across, Matt Todd in support, as you'd expect. Sam Kane couldn't catch him, and it was Tim Nano Williams coming across. Couldn't do the deed, couldn't stop him, and it's 5 0 Crusaders already. Daniel Carter, well, he's got a chance here, and here's quite the kicker. <coughs> Here he comes, first shot of the day, and it's two points. An easy invitation. The Crusaders don't need those. They'll make them themselves. That's just throwing points into the wind here for the Chiefs. They may find a bit of a struggle here now for the rest of the match, chasing the game yet again. Cruden kicks off, and it's to the left side, to Nano Williams, and low, chasing hard, Liam Messam for the line, Messam, oh, what a response, instant response from Liam Messam, goodness me, that is outstanding, where did that come from, James Lowe climbed high to take the kickoff, and then beautifully offloads to Messam, in a hole between Flynn and Dag. And Crotty there as well. Could not stop the flying number eight. What a brilliant try. And a completely ultimate instant reply. Not one tackle was made. And Messam just barges over. Brilliant response. And super classy from the Chiefs. 
But if anyone thought the Crusaders were going to just scamper away with this match, are horribly mistaken. Here's Cruden. Oh, an easy position for the kick, and he's he's hooked that to the left. Not the best attempt from Cruden. He knows it as well. He's got a real match up here against Dan Carter. The two going out for the number 10 All Black jumper. And it's 7 5. The Crusaders lead this one. Schwalger, short border, Atalik still finds an offload. Tamana Williams, Tamir Funa. And he finds James Lowe, who finds some defense Release. out there. It was just numbers burning away in the pockets of the Chiefs. Now they switch it to the right. Oh, ticket to Tuma. He's up against Ndolo. What a matchup that is. And Ndolo takes him down. The Chiefs are happy to swing this. Left and right is Natai. Through the center. Through the hard goes Natai. Offloads for Fitzgerald. He finds instead Ndolo. And there is a man at the back. They're very slow to get up. For the Chiefs as Reed goes charging into a tackle. Release. Oh, Reed is just about in a world of trouble there. Crockett. Goes himself. Release. He's taken down. Ticket of Tumors out of the field of play. Oh, big shot on Carter. And Cronin picks it up. Finds McIntosh. And they switch it to the left quickly. Passing through the hands. Latimer. Latimer goes through the middle. Finds Schroger in support. He throws it out the back for low. And field low goes. Finds Ritalik. And finally, the Chiefs go to ground. What a play there. Kerbalo goes wide to Natai. Cruden, Cruden puts on the accelerator. Oh, he's knocked on. He is knocked on. Big chance for the for the Chiefs. Goes begging as Todd flicks it inside for Franks. And Franks goes up towards his 22. Wow, what a chance for the Chiefs there. Ellis goes to the short side. He gives it to Whitelock. Whitelock can't get out of his 22 there either. Well, the Chiefs finding some numbers and support, but can't get the ball. Flynn. Oh, Carter is hit high. Oh, Kurbolo's in trouble. Yellow card. He is gone. Cruden can't believe his luck. He's lost his scrum half again. And wow, that's a big blow for the Chiefs. A man down for 10 minutes. And he'll be lucky to return much before half time. Carter was looking for the kick. But couldn't get it away. The tackle was a bit high. And it really lets the Crusaders off big time there. Well, the line-out goes horribly wrong. Messam just about finds himself with the ball before he even knew what was happening. Release. But the Crusaders managed to rescue the situation. His Franks will go for a run on McIntosh. Meets him head on. And that's a big injury here for the Crusaders now. Franks can't walk on that left foot. And Moody will have to come on. Of course, a good replacement, but Franks is really a class above. Moody will come on to the tight Very head nice. side. Cut. Goodness me, what a match we're having See. already. Yellow cards, injuries, fantastic tries. We've only been going for 28 minutes. Good solid scrum here from both these teams. Packing it up right on halfway. Ellis, he sees he's got Ndolo and he's only got Cruden to beat. But a good tack, tackle there, a good tap from Cruden. Slows Ndolo down. Here's Ellis going back. Oh, another high shot. This time on Slade. And Ritalik is really going at him. The ref does not blow his cards this time. And if the Chiefs are lucky to only have one man in the bin. That was another nasty one again. It was Slade that was looking for the kick. And if they just went low, they could have been a good try scoring chance here. The Chiefs, as it turns out, they've got their man back too, Carvalho. But they're in a bit of a defensive situation. What are the Crusaders going to cook up here? They go to the front. It's nicely taken down. Easy ball. Crockett. Slips it wide. Good pass back in field. Oh, that is nice from Carter. Release. Finds McCaw. Sliding back the other way. Now Ellis goes for a bit of a run. Oh, Nolo. Bumps one off. 
Great run from the Fijian. Crusaders, hot on attack here. Oh, Reed! Oh, Reed! What a run from Kieran Reed! Release! He may lose out, but that was a joy to watch. Boy, he just slid through some backs there, and he showed tremendous pace. Now the Chiefs, ticket of Tuma, slips it back in field. Oh, it's picked up from Ellis. Oh, Kerbalo! Don't tell me again! And Tuura Kerbalo has got his second high shot of the match. And we could end the half here with, oh no, well the Crusaders aren't interested in the shot at goal. They've gone to touch and they are happy to go to the break with a two point lead here in the grand final. I question that again. Why not go for the three and extend your lead up to 10 points? That just confuses me. It is seven to five. The Crusaders lead the Chiefs and the Super Rugby Grand Final. We can look at the stats here. Possession and territory, not too much in it. The Chiefs with a slender more advantage over territory. The Crusaders taking possession. But it's the penalties that are really hurting the Chiefs. Three high tackles, one yellow card, not the best at all. Six handling errors, not helping their cause, but five line breaks will probably make them pretty happy with their efforts at half time. They only trail by two. Someone's going home with a trophy. Will it be the Chiefs? Will it be the Crusaders? We'll have to tune in. Second half, second 40 minutes. The final 40 minutes of Super Rugby for 2014. The All New Zealand match. The Chiefs and the Crusaders. Let's get down second half. About ready to kick off. The Chiefs will want to pin the Crusaders down like they did last week to the Waratahs. A slender lead then as well. This time they're on the receiving side of a slender Release. lead. There's Todd. Oh, Todd's got one already. Looking for another, but he's lost out to low. Good turnover from the winger. Oh, and they've given it straight back to McCaw. Here's Ellis. Oh, using the numbers wide of Slate. They go back, and Todd offloads beautifully to Whitelock. Oh, and another high tackle. This time Fitzgerald's getting in the action. That is four high tackles, giving away all the pressure back, relieving the Crusaders. An interesting call this. Carter wasn't interested in a shot on half time. Now, from just over 50 meters, he's going to have a go. It's on target, it's as straight as an arrow, but it is wide, or short, shall I say. And Cruden returns the kick. Back over halfway it goes, Crotty. Swings it to the left, oh, and a step from McCaw. Now an offload, beautifully to Todd. Todd gives it back, and Moody finds Crockett. Crockett gives it to his second rollers. And the three they go, look at this from the Crusaders. Nice run there. And it's Todd again. Support and Dolo goes through one as you expect every time Release. he touches the ball. Ellis sets it up on the 22. Moody, Flynn, back and field to Todd once again. Crusaders keen to keep this tight. The Chiefs don't mind defending. Oh, that's a good tackle. Flynn finds himself with the ball. Now McCaw. And again, it's a all packing up. Right on the 22. Crockett. Wide. Dolo. He gets taken out again. Release. This is good defense from the Chiefs. But remember, they are not leading this time. They are trailing. There's a good tackle. McIntosh takes Release. out Moody. And could be ball back here for the Chiefs. It is. And it will be. Miss him. Back for Cruden. He pumps this one straight down the center of the field. Away from Dag. Splits the defense. That's a good kick. Dag returns it. Straight back down to where it came from. And Cruden calls a mark. Well. A mark called with 20 to go. Cruden will happily kick this into touch on halfway. Grand final at stake. The Chiefs don't want to play in their own half. 
Now they'll look to force a mistake here from the Crusaders. 20 minutes left. Only one play in this match will decide it. Nicely taken from Whitelock. From the grasp as well of the Chiefs jumpers. Oh, Reed, beautiful ball. He is on fire at the moment as Kieran Reed. And a penalty. Oh, goodness. That could be big. That could be huge in the context of this match. Surely this is kickable for Carter. Definitely kickable. The other one was only five metres short. This one is 20 metres further closer. Steps up, strikes it, and it is easily straight between the sticks. And we have a five-point ball game. It is 10 to 5. The Crusaders leading. Well, mistake from the Chiefs. 17 to go. Again, they find themselves searching for something special. As the kick goes long to Crotty, tries to step, and he does well too, getting it away. And Fonatia sets it up. Here's Ellis. He decides to kick, and again, it's a nice kick too. Splitting between Marshall, oh dear Marshall, and at the back there also was a ticket of Tuma. The ball finally comes back. Nartai is in a world of trouble there. He has been hammered. And the Chiefs have very little in support. But enough to keep the ball. McIntosh. Oh, he misses out Cruden. He finds, to, oh, he finds Kobalo. And now Kobalo will find himself with the kicking duties. No fullback really in place here at all. And now it's the Chiefs here who are putting the Crusaders in trouble. Oh, that's a good tackle Please. too. From Kribalo on Ndolo. They might get a bag, they do! Unbelievable stuff here! Oh, and Kribalo knocks on. Goodness me. Over. One way, then the other. Here's Moody. Back it goes! Oh, it's intercepted! Metallic! Oh, and the forward pass! Goodness gracious me! Retallic was just about the hero of the day. He saw low. Lowe was screaming at him Coach. on his left. Give me Coach. the ball. Six to go. Ten. Scrum for the Crusaders. They lead by five. They're inside their own 22 here, the Crusaders. The Chiefs will be desperate for this ball. They go to short pass to Fonatea. He's completely isolated. Kubalo's turned him over. Now the Chiefs, can they get this ball back? They won't. Oh, that's disappointing. Back it goes. Oh, the ball's loose. Goodness, has come for Slade. And Slade's kicked it away. Wow, what a finish we have in store for us here. It's a line out. 30 seconds to go. Time is now up. The buzzer goes. Kerbalo. Finds Kane. Natai finds some numbers and some support. He's still got one man as Tikka Tuma, who gets hammered. Chiefs quick on the ball. And they'll retain possession. Kerbalo. Natai. Nano Williams again. Latimer. Over the top. Finds Low. Low tries to slip through. Can't get away. Release. And the Chiefs again. Get numbers to the ball quickly. McIntosh. Finds Tamir Funa, Massim, Kerbalo, Kerbalo, nearly got through. Again, Chiefs ball quickly. Possibly could have gone to the other side there. As Low finds himself with the ball. Cruden, they're going a bit sideways here. Oh, it's gone back to the Crusaders, and they could win this. They will win it. They'll win it by five. What a finish to this match! And the Crusaders will get their crown. The Chiefs couldn't manage their final killer blow. And the Crusaders will do it. They have stopped the Chiefs from winning three in a row. What a match. It has been end to end. All sorts happening. But in the end, it was the boots of Carter that won it for the Chiefs. One misconversion and plenty of missed opportunities have fallen hand for the Chiefs. They could not finish it. They could not do it. And they have gone down by 10 points to 5. Todd with the try. 
And Carter with the conversion and penalty. Miss him, the try scorer for the Chiefs. The possession and territory are oh, very close. Chiefs nudged out the territory quite easily. The kicks, a few kicks in the game, 20 altogether. And of course the injury going to Franks, not the best for the Crusaders, but their season is now done. The yellow card could have been the, the changing point of the match for the Chiefs when they lost that player. But the line breaks, look at that, eight to six. Not enough for the Chiefs on the day. And that is us for the 2014 Super Rugby season. The Chiefs fall at the final hurdle. The Crusaders getting the win and they will take yet another trophy into their cabinet. Let's see some little trophy presentation now. And that will be me for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time for plenty more rugby. As for the Super Rugby competition, we are now done and dusted. And for all you Crusaders fans out there, I know there's a few of you. Enjoy this victory. Until next time, take care.